Don't you love life when you know, when you know, you know you feel like sunshine on your skin in the middle of the winter when it's chilly, even when it's getting dry, front of a fire, laying with your baby and you're getting high, well, a couple of buttons on a sweet day, I've shown blown up a perfect way, don't you love life when you know, when you know, you know you feel like the first time you feel it in, coming together, feel a perfect skin, well, my chips on a cold day, ice cream stripping on a hot day, well, night time hitting the street. On this episode, Jarley and I head off on a long overdue daddy-daughter weekend, her first go four-wheel driving, as we grab Ben, Dan and Jack and shoot over the border to the stunning Pebbly Beach. We get off the grid, out of the grid and find another little hidden paradise. How you feeling? Welcome back, guys. Today we're doing a four-wheel drive tutorial. Uh, we're going through some potholes in the <laughs> Going through some potties at the moment. Once you're in your four-wheel drive and you love potties, eh? I wish you could see my hair movements right now because this is where the tutorial comes in. We're really getting into it here with the sand. Um, Dad was just, actually, sorry, <coughs> correction. I was just teaching me father here. Oh, let's go through this. We're going to be going through some pretty epic creek crossings. Crossing, there's only one. Um, which I just thought would be so good to get to film. Here we go. How's it going, Giles? Yeah, good. a bit of fun. We'll get a bit of speed now that we're on the beach. Yeah, a little washout we'll crossing just here. Well, here we go, part two of our daddy-daughter camping trip with Charlie, myself, Ben, Dan, and Jack all joining in. As we chase that uncrowded wave, we try a dirty steak, and we get ourselves in some significant four-wheel driving trouble. Charles, you're on. We're you're heading. about to go through. Cross at low tide only, cross at own risk. Bit scary. What gear are you in? You got it sorted? I'm about to change it. Is it this one? All right, we're in. Should I head around that way? Or? That little rocky patch right through the middle looks really nice. You can from there go wherever you want. You can go up that way and go along the edge of the bank if you want. And go that way. There you go. Yeah, you got the guys Woo! behind you. Worked out so good. All right. Here we go. How was that? That was so epic. So much fun. Wow. So you Everybody's change... got to do that. That is such an amazing feeling. Should I change it to four high now? Yeah, you can do that on the roll. Just, Just roll it. Up, yeah. Look it over. Watch that branch. Yeah. Good work. Nice driving. <laughs> <laughs> that did really well. That was wicked. Yeah. So we just come back into the camp here at Pebbly Beach and waves are actually really, key. really firing over Jolly's shoulder here. Him. Well, it's not much doing right there now. There's no ways breaking, but actually it's really, really good. So we're going to go back and have a surf before dark. <laughs> Sitting around the fire last night here. Just a quick one, yeah. Charlie. Uh, yes. Favorite thing you've done so far, and best best uh, thing about coming out here. Okay. Well, my favorite thing we've done so far. Oh, I can't just. I can't. 
I can't pick just one. Yep. I think probably driving through the creek and um, doing the full drive track when we first got here and being able to drive that was so fun. Really eye-opening and um, I really enjoyed myself much more than I thought I would. Um, I think one of the little things that was really great was picking those shells today. When we were walking along the water to find a fishing spot, we just found this incredible just like wall of shells and yeah, picked some of those. Um, but probably my like the best thing about coming out here is uh, separating ourselves from main society and uh, the internet and having that like attachment to your phone and you know movies before you go to sleep and and the TV and just being able to sit in front of a fire for hours and be completely entertained. So yeah, I think mean, that was the best part. Just relaxing into this and getting out in nature has been awesome. Dr. D Ray, what about you, mate? The full drive tracks and surfing going somewhere where you haven't been before is always pretty cool and the one thing that's really like resonated with me was that it feels like we've been here for a week but we've yeah. only been here for a couple of days not even so it's, it's, two. <laughs> day and it's, day and, not even day and a half it's incredible to how time you can enjoy time mm. with people so good well said my favourite part has oh it's just been getting away as I said as soon as you cross that creek it's like you feel separate from the world again and then it's just been so nice to just pretty much be literally like us five people here pretty much didn't see anyone else really and just like going back to the basics of just how nice the fire is like remembering how amazing like the stars are again two of the funnest surfs I've probably had in so long out the front no one out like pretty clear water like so sick cool just to like even yeah that four-wheel drive we did this like today to go get more firewood and just like hooning on the beach um it's been very fun so yeah loving it yeah it's been good just to get away for a couple of days and and do something a little bit different and out of the ordinary i really enjoyed how you know sort of all of us are really different and and come from different walks of life and you know we still just hang out and have a good time and we're all mates it, it, it doesn't really make a difference nice to, to just come to a place you know I've heard so much about Pebbly Beach and how special it is that it's probably one of the best um, camp or beach campsites in New South Wales and it's certainly lived up to that you know we've, we've had a good good couple of surfs and we've mucked around and fished and a lot to this place that, that we probably didn't even uncover so look forward to coming back the track that we the full drive track we did on the way in was really cool. I thought it was a bit of a bonus section, a bit of a surprise. And um, but I think my favourite thing, the surf's been really, really cool. Hanging out with the boys has been really cool. Just and girl. This, <clears throat> hang, hanging out with the boys has been really cool. The camp's been really, really actually a pretty insane place and I love the spot. We're definitely coming back. But my favourite thing for me has actually been hanging out with Jarley bit of a daddy daughter thing and um, getting Charlie to four wheel drive and drive through those mud tracks on the first day. Just because Joe said you're not allowed? Yeah, because yeah. uh, Joe said I wasn't allowed to go four wheel driving so I just let Charlie drive <laughs> um, until we got the car fixed. So, so I didn't, I didn't do it. Charlie did it. <laughs> um, but uh, that was just really cool. So that's, I just loved being um, with my daughter laughing and driving and and one simple thing that I love, I love getting back on the CB radio with everybody, having a bit of a talk and a chat, mm. and working out where we're going to go next. So, but uh, and also burning my legs on the biggest fire that any humans ever lit. Um, <laughs> the the Raywood brothers love a little bit of fire, so I need to move back before I die. But looking forward to going back, and by the time we get back, it'll only be um 52 hours i think we've been gone for and it feels like we've we'll been gone for a week easy so super cool yeah. the dirty steak have you tried it does it work so we've um cleared a spot just here Jack. See, it looks perfect to me about the same two minutes each side i would imagine so yeah steak straight on the coals so, we've heard about this before, and despite the ridiculousness of the idea, it appears it's a good idea. We're told it's a good idea, but we'll soon find out. <laughs> oh, I reckon that's going to cook right through. So, how do you like it, medium? Or yeah. really well done? I feel like medium. Medium. There we go. Now, we must uh, how does this check out someone else's YouTube channel. 
and find out how to do this. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't have internet, so we heard vague stories that you could cook a thing. We had no way to Google instructions. There we go. So I guess so you can slice through that. You want to use that to hold on to it. Moment of truth, eh? A little, little on the raw uh, side. I reckon we put it back on uh, for a bit. that bit off for me. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly Have how a I taste. Like how do you like yours, Jack? Oh, uh, a little bit well, more yeah. well done than yeah. that. Just oh ever God, so slightly. Really? Mm. I like that that good, eh, mate? Before you put it back on. That is, that is, that is unbelievable. Go light, light her up. Oh my God, that is so good. How? So it's pretty. Look turn. at it. You have a look. Come around this side here. Turn Dad. around for me, so I can. Uh, yeah, well, you stay there. Oh, I'm coming in. Look at that. Is that? That is <laughs> unbelievable. That's a little bit that, under. No, but that's that's just a rare steak. So that was pretty damn good. I might, I might try a bit of the rare. I'll try it. I'll, I'll, try, I'll, I'll have a little bit. All right, you try that, and then I reckon we put this back on for a, a bit extra. Right. That is bloody damn good. Wow. I really like that. Just the cold, like the smoky flavour. Just the smoky. It's like literally got like this little. Just the, the smoky hint of hint of charcoal, like it's really, really good. You know, I only go That's the best flavour I've tasted on the steak. I might go on that slightly hotter bit. Or Over here? Do you reckon? Yeah. Why not? I think we get the other one on there, eh? Yeah. All right, that's a plan. We'll cut her open. Woohoo! Life update. Here's the steak straight off the bloody T-bone, straight off the coals. We've gone for a, a dirty steak. Yeah, it's a dirty steak. Dirty steak. <laughs> Bloody look at it, Atrev. Trev loves it. Yeah. Jack loves it. I love it. Bloody awesome. It's, it's, it's funny, but it's just we're simple, really cool stuff. Ones, yeah. That's the way. There's something about doing something cool like this. It's, yeah. It it's makes way sense better than though. sitting home trying to catch up on MasterChef. Look at this show. Look. Charcoal stuck to it. Wow. That's pretty insane. It looks really good. I don't know. I don't really want to say that thing as a vegan, but. It actually is amazing that back in the day when you weren't vegan, yeah. you would have tasted it and gone, oh my god, this is stunning. So there's a little slice out of that one. Look at that for basically from a rare point of view, maybe a medium rare, rare, medium rare, that's pretty perfect. So boys like it a bit more, but we're going to put it back on a little bit longer. But what we've worked out, hot coals to seal it and then bring it over to bring the heat through a little bit more. So, pretty cool. cruising now we're gonna to head to mini water get some have a surf, maybe yeah. diggers yeah diggers sounds see how we go rotten. and try get there probably by about oh, 8 30 so yeah before the wind comes up next part of the adventure hey <laughs> so i was just like trying to warm up how Steamy. exciting it's mm. freaking freezing i'm wearing two jumpers two pants two socks and some mud boots and a beanie and a beanie do you want some gloves yeah, it'd be great actually, you. my hands are freezing. I'll grab it for you. Do you have any gloves? I'm all slow for you. Cause you are finishing my sentences when I don't know what I'm about to say. 
Driving along on the start of the track to yeah, get so to Mini Water, Dad hit something, <laughs> hit a stick on the side of the road, and we didn't think it was anything until the wheel started squeaking very loudly, and the boys can't figure out what it is. So we are now taking off the tire, and we're in the middle of an off-road track. I'm about to show you outside and what they're doing. That's a little rundown for you. So this is pretty much what's happening at the moment. We've undone some bolts for the tire. Let's, let's give us a lowdown of what's going on, Jack. So we're not really sure at this stage. We think it's something in the caliper, possibly a rock, could be absolutely anything. The, the weird thing is, is it squeaks when you move forward, but not when you come backwards. The, the only next thing we can think to do at this stage is pull the tire off, have a really good look at it, see if we can't work it out, we'll let you know. Oh, and it's so camp. weird that it happened not four wheel driving. It happened on the road. <laughs> Literally on we like flat road, on basically. Flat road. Joe, we're not four wheel driving. No. <laughs> if she sees this, <clears throat> just suspending the car a little bit, I'm guessing, to get the tire off. Basically, we're uh, here to give you the verbal update. They're trying to take the tire off at the moment. It I'm looks excited. like hard work, and I'm so glad I'm not doing anything of it. We're loving You're it. You're the filming, <laughs> It's a good thing when you got to be a filmer. We'll stick to our strings, Charlie. Yeah, exactly. We're Wearing beanies, beanies and looking good, <laughs> looking good on video. Good. That's pretty much it. So, quick update. They've just put the tyre back on. Couldn't quite find the source of the problem. We're assuming it's a pebble stuck in the disc or something like that. So, we're just going to put the tyres back on, keep driving and hope that it comes out as we drive, I guess. It's not the funnest part of the day, is it? <laughs> It's all fun. It's, all, it's fun. all an adventure. It's all part of the experience. We're all learning uh, here. We're not squeaking now, so that's a good start. Yeah, little update, guys. We... It's like computers. Just turn it off, turn it on again, and it works. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, little reboot. Shut down some windows. Good to go. We put the tyre... Um... My mind has 20 unopened tabs sometimes, and I don't know where the music's coming from. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine that would be quite often. I'm just going to quickly spit this out before we get interrupted yeah, I again. A every now and then. <laughs> we took the tyre off, sprayed some WD-40 in there, yeah. had a little look-see around, didn't really see anything too promising for an issue, and put the tyre back on after just hoping that it would be better, and there's no squeaking at the moment. So. Yeah, so we're not 100% sure. We may have dislodged, when we sprayed, we may have dislodged a little stone or a bit of something that was sticking in there. But, yeah. um, couldn't quite work it out because it was um it was actually squeaking while we're driving forward not as much while we're braking not at all when it first started no. and it started squeaking but if we went in reverse it wouldn't squeak so anyway we have been through some mud and some puddles and stuff so we we'll probably pick something up more than yeah, likely but uh, than likely. still learning this stuff so there you go more mud to come <laughs> hopefully no more tire changes though Uh-oh, just when you think you're making progress, something else happens. So, got a little problem now, not sure what it is. Mm. We're gonna have to just pull him out backwards here and then work out what just happened. Lost drive somewhere? Hmm, yeah. not good, give it a try. So Jali got to do her first four-wheel drive recovery and after we turned it off and back on, we think it might have been a problem with the traction control cutting drive to the wheels. Anyway, we got to move forward. So um, we've got it, he's kept driving, he's trying to keep his revs up so that he doesn't conk out again. Um, and we're just catching up now but apparently there's another bit of water so we're all a little <laughs> bit nervous at the moment. Um, we've checked the map, 
and we're gonna have to go a different way. Yeah, we'll go there, guys. We're gonna have to go a different way to. Right, just go straight to this puddle. It looks like slightly to the right. Just probably the best bit. Yeah, just take the easiest line through and just keep keep on trucking at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna have to go. You guys go through first, just so if it happens again, we got something planned to do. The easier way, like not forward driving Roger. way, because. Obviously, we can't have any more of these issues. We've already had two. Oh. Um, and our time limit is going down very slowly. So, <laughs> we're going to update you guys soon. Hopefully, no more issues will happen and we can get some cool footage of us doing some fun things <laughs> instead of just this. But, you know, we've got to keep it real. We're on an adventure and these things happen. Got a little creek to go through yeah, here. Yeah, it's not overheating. It's not any lights are on, so I guess we're good. Touch wood. Stopping on uh, Ridge Mount Road and just showing you there's the coast over there. So it's a beautiful little area. Driving up along this ridge, right across the top, about 10 kilometers. Really, really nice and beautiful day. On our way back to Mini Water, Mini Water Road, maybe a quick surf and some, some deep. Yeehaw. Yep. There we go, back at the gate. So we're just up above Mini Water now. She's let the gate go. Whoop, nearly killed her. Nearly killed everybody. That's pretty funny. <laughs> so stylishly. Yeah, nothing going on here, eh? Well, there we go. Mini water. Surf is literally quite amazing right now. Some really good waves. And that's it. <laughs> I just washed my face, so excuse that it's wet. But um, yeah, that was, is this the end or are this we? Is, well, we're gonna drive back to the Gold Coast now, but yeah, out of mini such water. such a great time. If anyone, has the vehicle and the strength to get down to Pebbly Beach or even just anywhere we've been in these last three days do it because it was freaking incredible and we had such a good time so many laughs so many mistakes so many adventures and yeah we've definitely come back better from it I think nice Woo! now check out the hilarious outtakes and a sneak peek at where we go next got to pump it up you know, pump it up. <laughs> you got to pump it up. Well, that's all I got to say. <laughs> all right, and we're rolling. Let's do this. Welcome back. And, uh, Welcome back, guys. It's like a good shot, but I feel accepted here. <laughs> Go for it, Jazz. Okay, fourth take. Welcome back, guys. Today, I am... <laughs> this is the forward for a <laughs> tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> Please say that. <laughs> Please say that. Welcome back, guys. Today we're doing a forward drive tutorial. Uh, we're going through some potholes in the moment. <laughs> going through some potties at the moment. <laughs> Here's another one. So It's a long, boring video so far. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Reno and I, the beanie people, are going to give you the verbal update. Um, beanies are cool. <laughs> yes, that's, they are. If you like this, guys, make sure you like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and pass it on to a few friends, because over the next few weeks, we're heading to North Queensland, Joe and I, to pick those waterfalls and swimming holes that we missed last time. Can't wait for that one. After that, Charlie and I, Daddy Daughter Weekend, we go off to Morton Island with a few mates, a couple of fun characters. We get absolute dream conditions and we explore the island like a few little things that I'd never ever seen before. And at the end of it, we try and find that perfect dive and that perfect wave. And I tell you what, we come across some absolute magic. I cannot stress enough, friends, never give up on that sense of adventure and that search because if you follow your intuition, you will find those hidden paradises. Finally, Jali and I on daddy daughter trip number three, we head off to Sundown National Park. We find an incredible secret spot and test out the brand new Dashi Panorama 1400 rooftop tent. 
Then we head to the stunning granite country of Girraween National Park and I look for the best slide in the area.